The 1964 earthquake that occurred in Alaska happened on March 27th, and it was at 5.30 p.m. There was over four minutes of shaking. It was the biggest that the United States has ever seen. When we're looking at an earthquake, we really want to know what the impact area is. So what area is going to be impacted? What area is going to have the highest shaking intensity? Because that is really going to show us um, where the largest damages are. FEMA is responsible for responding to and preparing for disasters. We also do a lot of mitigation work, which is the group that I work in, so helping communities mitigate for natural hazards, therefore reducing their risk. Currently, we are planning for the Alaska Shield exercise, which is kind of replaying that 1964 event. We did receive a USGS shake map um, that was updated based on the event. Here we're showing shaking intensity, so as you can see, much of the impacts are in the Anchorage area, as well as Valdez and Cordova and the Kenai Peninsula. Our exercise is going to focus on existing data that we have for the area, geologic data as well as local building stock data available in a geospatial format so we can map that geospatially, get a better visibility on what is actually impacted, what kind of access we would maybe have or not have depending on if roads were down. To make seismic hazard maps, what we need is information from a broad range of expertise and techniques. So to do this, we need to understand where the active faults actually are, so where they lie on the landscape. We need to know something about their characteristics, how fast they're moving, how often earthquakes occur on these, and also we need to know more about the surrounding area, the nature of the soils, how much they shake in earthquakes. We're not trying to recreate the 64 disaster, but what we're trying to do is kind of apply the same type of disaster, a 9.2, just about 100 miles from here, to prepare the responders and the community for if another 9.2 hit Alaska, what would happen today, and making sure the responders are trained for that. Our work helps people understand what seismic hazards are in the state of Alaska. And so that information helps people prepare for what's expected in the future. And I think the way we prepare for things is best when we really understand what the hazard actually is.